Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. I want to go through an example of our actual culling or rating system. Now, a lot of people will actually set up systems that are rather complex. What they'll do is they'll assign, like say they're doing star ratings. They'll say, well, a number one star equals an image that is going to be rejected. I'm not going to deliver it. Two stars means that it has a little bit of potential, but I'm not sure yet. Three stars is an average photo. Four stars is a blog photo. Five stars is a portfolio photo. Well, creating systems that are this complex means that it's going to be very, very cumbersome when you actually get to rating these images. Because basically, with every single image, you got to sit there and analyze, is this image good or not? How good is it? Is it a 4 or is it a 5? When we cull and we rate our images, we want to go through it very, very quickly. And so that's why we use a very simple setup. So before we get into it, let's reset our catalog to get back to how it was when we first imported it. We're going to delete everything. All, uh, we're going to delete all of our non-original files as well as reset all of our attributes. So let's do that now. I'm going to hit Control A to select all my images. I'm going to hit 0 to remove all of the ratings. We're going to hit 6 twice. The first time is to toggle the label to red, and then the second time is to pull all the red labels off. So basically what we did to reset the labels is just add a label and then remove all of them. Next thing we're going to do is hit U to unpick all of the images so no images show up as flagged. All right, in my keywording panel, I'm going to make sure that there's no keywords, which is already fine. There's no keywords applied. Next thing we're going to do is on our filters menu, and if the filter isn't turned on, just hit backslash. So in filters, I want to go under my attributes, and I want to see all of the virtual copies, which is this button right here, which was actually already toggled when we went into it. So I want to see the virtual copies, and then I'm going to delete out all the virtual copies just by clicking them and right-clicking and hitting delete and removing. All right, we're going to turn off our filter just by clicking on attribute again, and then we're going to shrink our filter menu bar by hitting uh, the backslash key. And now let's make sure all of the image settings are actually reset. So what I'm going to do is hit Control A again to select everything, Command A on a Mac, go to my develop module, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this auto sync button right here. And we'll go over this in more detail later on. So just for right now, we can just reset everything. We're going to enable auto sync, which basically makes it so whatever we do right now, settings wise to these images, it's going to do it to all of them all at the same time. So we have auto sync on, and we're just going to hit reset. Now all the images are reset back to their standard uh, imported settings, and we're going to go back to the grid view by hitting G. I'm going to hit Control D or Command D on a Mac to unselect everything. I'm going to hit P to mark everything as a flagged, so we're going to mark every image as flagged. And then I'm going to hit Control D to unselect everything and just select this first image by clicking on it. Now the system that we use is what we call editing out, it means that when we bring our catalog into Lightroom, we select everything and we mark everything as a pick, meaning we're going to deliver everything. And then what we do is we go individually through the images and we edit out what we don't want to deliver. This system is simple because all we're doing is we're either leaving a flag on it or we're hitting X to simply reject it. Next thing I'm going to do is for my portfolio quality images or blog quality images, I'm going to create a new collection. So we're going to create a collection called Portfolio. Oops, I think I spelled that wrong. <clears throat> Portfolio. There we go. All right, it's going to be a top-level collection. Um, I don't want to include any selected photos, so we're just going to hit Create. All right, so it has this portfolio selection. Now what I want to do is I want to set this as my target collection. So I right-click on it, and you guys will remember we went over this when we went through Collections. When we set as a target collection, it adds a plus right next to it, and anytime we hit B, which is the shortcut to add to a quick collection, it'll automatically put it in this portfolio collection because it's set as the target. Okay, so I'm going to double click on this image to go into loop view. I'm going to hit I so I don't have to see this information at the top. And now we're going to go down to our filters and we're going to select to filter by flag status. So I only want to see images that are flagged. And right now it's still showing the virtual copy filter. So I just need to bring up my filters again by hitting backslash and turn off this virtual copy attribute so that we see all of the regular images that are just flagged. Let's close that filter menu again by hitting backslash one more time. And I'm going to hit F twice to go full screen so I have extra real estate. And I'm going to hit tab once to close up my tabs uh, on the left and right side to close up the panels. We're going to double click again to be able to see full screen and now I'm ready to cull. I'm ready to edit out the images I don't want. So these are all images that we're going to keep in our in our actual catalog. So we're not going to actually edit out anything, but I'm just going to do this for an example. So let's say with this first image, I go, ah, I don't really like it. I'm going to edit it out. I hit X, and because I'm filtering for flagged images, it is automatically going to remove that from the lineup. 
I'm going to hit X again. I'm going to remove this one. And this one I'm going to say, okay, I, I kind of like that one. I'm just going to leave it. With this next one, I go, I kind of like that one. I'm going to leave it. With my next image, I go, I'm just hitting right basically to go from image to image. Uh, with this image, we're going to leave it. Um, but actually, I want to actually move this to my portfolio. So the portfolio collection, I'm sorry. So I'm going to hit B and it's going to move it to the target collection portfolio. Next image, I go, oh, this has a lot of potential. Once it's edited, touched up, we can put this in our portfolio too. So I'm going to hit B again. Next image, I go, oh, well, this groom doesn't like serious stuff. I'm going to reject this one. Next image, I go, oh, this is kind of too harsh lighting. I'm going to reject this one. Obviously, we're not really rejecting these photos because they're decent photos, but we're just rejecting for the purpose of this tutorial. So we go through our culling just hitting two buttons only. Either we're rejecting it because we don't want to deliver it, or we're moving it to our collections while leaving a flag on it because it's so good it's, it's, it, we want to leave it in the portfolio. So it's a very, very simple system. And now I'm going to hit tab to bring back my left and right panels. We can see that the two images that we've added to our portfolio are in our portfolio. And if we un and if we select all of our images without any filters, we'll see that those images that we marked rejected are actually grayed out now and the other ones are kept. So this is a very simple system of, of keeping what we want to keep. And if we ever need to see, okay, well, do we want to look at what was been rejected and see if there's anything we still want to deliver? Well, we just turn on the rejected filter and we don't have to do a lot of thought. It's either a photo is not going to be delivered because it's rejected. It's going to be delivered because it's flagged or it's flagged and it's portfolio quality. So we only have three options and we're only choosing from two options with this system. But again, guys, this is our culling workflow. So you guys kind of pick one that works for you and it works for your workflow. There's nothing wrong with using a star system, a color label system, a collection system, a flagging system. It's all kind of up to you and what works best. All right, guys, so for right now, let's unselect our filter. I'm going to actually turn my filters off. I want to see all my images. We're going to reset everything just by selecting everything by hitting Control A. I'm going to mark everything as unpicked again. We're going to remove that portfolio collection by just right clicking on it and saying delete and deleting the portfolio collection. And now we're back to our original catalog. I'm going to hit F again so I can see my menu and we are good to go to the next tutorial.